welcome back. I am Ben Tulden Ka. Here with a few recommendations for your assistance in using the Roll20 app. First recommendation, enable 3D dice and automatically roll 3D dice for visual dice effect. If you're streaming, this might sort of jazz up your uh, dice rolling just a little. Um, another recommendation, um, yeah, clear your uh, chat sometimes. That will make this far less noisy. Now to go on to the meat and potatoes of this. To begin making a character, you probably need your DM's assistance in creating a character at light. If you are the DM, go to journal, add character, and make sure to put this in a player's journal and let them edit it. And then just hit save changes. Now I'm going to enter player mo mode and see if anything weird pops up. And well, you know, I actually have two characters. We'll talk about this guy in a few minutes. So we are creating character here. How done over character sheet? You should see something a lot like this. I really like using character man mancers so we will be using character mancer from here on out you may be able to just be able to do this by following the prompts um, if so you could probably skip this part um, if not well you begin by choosing your race Let's be boring and choose human. And uh, alignments. And sure. And standard human. So many subclasses will have further selections when you click the sub race. This one is just not. It's boring. And moving on to class. So next, choose class. And then the various options below it. Let us pick Sorcerer uh, for one reason in particular. This is a demonstration of a class that has your sub pass available at level one. We'll be looking with Conic Line and just whoever works here. And let's go with White. Silver, apparently. Let's go with silver. Everything here is selected. We move on to abilities. Your DM will be the one deciding how you determine your ability scores, but you do need to determine them. My favorite method is to roll 4d6 and drop the lowest. I'm doing that roll seven times, dropping the lowest. This can make an, you an unkillable god fly out of the gate. Or a small squishy snack for the bad guys. What you want to do here? Custom and enter your numbers. Um, as this is just a tutorial, we will just put in twelve and everything. Any bonuses or stats you may have already will automatically be displayed here. As you see, we put in twelve and we got thirteen because we're humans. Background is kind of bad here. We'll be moving on to background next. If you want anything other than Akla, you're going to have to add it yourself. Um, with Akla, you just wait for the lag to clear up and click all the buttons here. But if you want something like a subclass, let's, let's call it background bill. The bill background. We have to select your proficiencies uh, by choosing one of these. Tech is where you'll find herbalism kits and thieves tools and uh, viola. Uh, sure, Bill is very good with viola. And can speak under common. That sounds like a bill to me. Here's where you put your custom background features. 
You would find it in your background. Um, and here's your personality traits, which you also find in your background. We're ignoring these because this is a tutorial. Um, you just copy and paste the background feet here and uh, whatever personality traits you pick, you get. Um, or rule four. Some DMs might require your rule. So let's continue to equipment. It's very important here that you push the next button and not one of these buttons up here. I've done that before and it's wiped my background repeatedly. Don't know why. Might have been just momentary glitch, but I recommend keeping that next button there. How do you start your choose your starting equipment? Just uh, class equipment or starting wealth. Starting wealth, you get straight gold. Class equipment, you click it, but just because gold, all you have to do is click this button. Let's just click this button. 80 gold, meh, got hose. Last time I got 100. Um, yeah, and feats just um, spells you. Oh, uh, yeah, you jumped ahead. Spells you, select your spells. Um, I'd recommend using some sort of damage, a cantrip. If you have the access to pressure dissertation, I recommend pressure dissertation. Um, Mage Hand can be useful, as can Mending, but Message is pretty top tier uh, cantrip if you ask me. And if you don't have Dark Vision, you'll probably either want Light or buy a Hooded Lantern. Um, and you got two options. Um, pick up your high damage spells here or pick up utility spells. Um, some classes have uh, ritual casting. If that's the case, pick up some good ritual spells. I'm, I'm just choosing random spells here. Oh, mage armor. That's a pretty cool one. So much for random. And feats. Feats just make you sad. Um, you really haven't done that much yet. With thanks a lot. I feel like I've done plenty. Bio is just you being you and being all creative. Then we go to review. This is a point in time in which we figure out whether or not things have crashed. Many times, um, sometimes it's something I wasn't clicked right or you clicked on and then switched your mind on and the site doesn't like it and won't let you save it, but this time we're good. Okay. If it doesn't let you save it, you have to delete your character and make a new one. In particular times that it wouldn't let me save is a time on which i clicked um eric and then another class i really didn't like that so here you have your character um quite easy to get uh, uh, uh again you can pop it out and you know, have it somewhere over here you know i have it here and yeah that's how you do things right there you click on what you want to do um, here your dice, you could definitely use those. We don't necessarily have to because we have this fella. Let's say I want to make an attack, a uh, file bolt. Look at that. I need to make a saving throw, uh, dexterity. I need to stealth. I need to make a dexterity check. Well, that, that works just fine. You notice that there's two numbers. Um, um yeah I, I i i don't know how how that happened or how to make it unhappen but it's just there and i think it's default and going to be there i tell my players the first number the number all the way on the left is your number unless you're rolling with advantage or disadvantage then the other number may come into play or in some cases i'll let them you know roll that when they're making two attacks efficient that way now for leveling up. For a supported class like this uh, dragon sorcerer, it's quite simple. It's very important that you click this button, not this button. This button will reset your character to level one. And if you have a pretty high level character, you might just cry like I did. Uh, click this button, levels, add your levels, and Rule for your health, make sure that it's rolling all the numbers. 
Sometimes they'll teach you and only roll one. Yeah, just make sure you're rolling all the numbers. And then you... Oh. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong. I did not pick up my social. I picked up my monk. Get to that monk in a second. Yeah. Levels. Add levels. Wool. Right there's a prime example of it. Sort of not doing what I was intended to do. It should be rolling for more than one level. But only vote for one. There we go. That's much better. And as we've already selected Draconic Bloodline in the beginning, we don't need to select from the list like shown in the monk. Click the next button to make sure things don't implode. Next. Sometimes you get ability score increase, sometimes you don't. Feats, I would probably just have my player leave you on choose and add the feats later in um, the listed feats. And let's just put you all of your stats and strength. Sorcerers definitely need strength, don't they? And um, next. All right, here's where you get more spells. If you do get spells, just pick your spells. And then next. And this is reviewing everything you have. Before leveling, after leveling, look. We got two more levels of strength as much needed. And this is all the things we gain. And there you go. That is your character leveled if you are supported by the roll 20. Now for that monk that we just neglected. Nope. I really should have named him Monk. So what we're going to do for this character is leave monetary tradition, or leave the subclass on chosen. And did we roll that? I think we roll that. And what that does is it just applies the bare basics of the class. You see, we get feats, so we can add the feats. I'm sorry, we get ability scores. No feats here. And this is just review like before. Now for the features and traits, you have to go around and bring up your subclass um in this case we're using a homebrew the way of the moon and you just copy this add base here i just want to say that this right here um was invisible to me on my screen and for the longest time i did not know it existed uh, but yeah, it exists. You just gotta click it. That's right there. And if you want a custom subclass or a subclass that's not supported, you do have to add it by hand. Inconvenient, but it works. And I'm not going to bother adding all of the things I actually do need to add to make this character playable because this is just a tutorial. So this is all you really need. Um, you're ready to start punching, start dodging, start drinking poison, hoping you don't die. Thank you very much for tuning in. I very much appreciate all of you joining. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please let me know if you have anything you need to know. Like say how to add spells. That's pretty easy. You just add the spell by hand. Um, thank you very much and goodbye.